Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today we got some news, so uh, we're gonna talk about them right now, right here in the Chamber of Arms. So, after Thursday's maintenance in the Chamber of Arms, uh, we're gonna have a new fight with uh, Vine D Miatrix. Uh, this sprite looks amazing, so this looks really, really cool. So, after Thursday, after the maintenance, you guys will be able to try your team and basically fight this boss and uh, let's see what we get so as we're going down here so first things when you first the uh, easy way if you fight the easy way you get the assassin's dagger replica uh which is a 58 attack dagger which is not that crazy then once you beat the boss for real uh you basically get the real assassin's dagger it's a 116 uh, attack dagger chance to inflict poison blind sleep silent par paralyzed confuse disease and stones uh, also enables life taker and chance taker when equipped uh, what life taker does basically chance of instantly KOing or deal partial unmitigate unmitigated damage and chance of poisoning or inflicting disease on one enemy and chance taker chance of countering physical attacks which is not bad uh, not crazy but if you do get that guys uh, in the arena if you equip this to uh, one character one character doing an AoE attack uh, that thing could be really, really good. So, a uh, really, really good weapon for the arena. But uh, for bosses and everything, it's a big thumbs down. But for the arena, like I said, thumbs up. Also, if you defeat Vine, uh, V and Deer Matrix within 30 turns, you get two 7 tickets. Evoke Golem, you get a 10% Moogle. And this is where uh, the fight gets really interesting. When you beat the boss, this is the uh, ability that you really want to get. Basically, boost physical and magic damage dealt to beast, insects, avian, monsters, human, and plant. Uh, it's 30% boost against these types, and it's also physical and magic. So you guys can put this on your physical attacker or your magic attacker. So this thing looks really, really, really nice. And uh, this is where, basically, this is okay, but this is where you want your thing to shine. So get no limit burst in that fight. Uh, it might be a little bit hard, because uh, some units, you know, you like to spam those limit bursts. But, nonetheless, the reward is really, really, really good. And, uh, like always, you bring 10 men, or 10 women, or whatever. You bring 10, 10, ta 10 characters, sorry, and you try to beat the boss down. Within 30 turns, hopefully, to get those two tickets. Uh, that's for number one. Number two, we're gonna go stopping Marchenko. So that's the uh, Deus Ex event. You will be able to fight Viktor Marchenko on Friday. So Friday morning, this dude is going to appear. By the way, this looks crazy, crazy, crazy. He looks really mean. Uh, let's go over the info. Be prepared to defend against lightning, dark, and fire damage, Kupo. The boss does a mixture of physical and magical, magical attacks along with many status ailments. So be careful about that. So he's going to probably do a lot of light. Well, probably. He is going to do a, light, a lot of light, lightning, dark, and fire damage uh, with a mixture of physical and magical attacks. So we're going to have to try to cover both of these elements uh, with our team. Then, mission reward. When you complete the quest, you get a 5% Moogle. No magic. You get 10,000 Ipotism, which looks like syringes. But you get 10,000 of those. No items. Two summon tickets. And defeat Victor Marchenko with a limit burst. Augmentation glasses, it's an accessory, attack 28, defense plus 3, and boost resistance to all status ailments by 60%, which is not bad, it's actually okay, if uh, you guys do decide to put this on Aiko, well, she's gonna be 100% immune to everything, but, uh, it's alright, it's nothing crazy, but it's good enough, and uh, we basically want those summon tickets and that 5% Moogle, because CGIO is coming soon, guys, he is coming soon. Then... We're gonna move to non accent but before we start and go to the next one guys if you are new to this channel please subscribe down below for more content like this and let's jump into this news right here so this is basically the new banner we are gonna get this friday we didn't get any news about the banner but this is basically what it's gonna look like so it's gonna be a king mog event uh, on beginner's quest you guys will be getting a summon ticket intermediate you're gonna get some crystal advanced crystal pro more crystals and on elite you'll get 500 lapis and trust me you guys want to find that free lapis and on legendary you'll basically get 5000 crystal which is really really nice because 
you guys will see why we need that in the king mog event right here we can see that we have the five star select summon ticket uh, I don't know if we're gonna get three in the King Mog event, but I know in JP is actually really, really expensive. You get one for fifteen thousand, the other one for a hundred thousand or hundred and fifty, and the last one for three hundred thousand. So we will see exactly how the global side handles this. Uh, you'll be able to get some four-star tickets and uh, regular tickets, which you will want and uh, basically keep them. Also, some exclusive equipment you get. This axe, which is really hard to say, uh, enables stores LB, boost LB gauge fill rate. It's a double, it's a two-handed weapon, 112 attack, no element, which sucks a little bit, but still, nonetheless, for newer players, this is actually really, really good. Then you get this scone, whatever, this light sword, light great sword uh, with light element on it. It's a 78 attack. If you guys don't have Excalibur, or uh, let's say Lightbringer or any type of greatsword with uh, light element on. It's actually really good. And for actually older players, still not bad because whenever the uh, Castle Mill Filkia comes back, you can basically get some more attack or maybe HP on it, which is still, still pretty good. Uh, so for newer players, these things are really, really good. And you have Brave Adventures, boost attack and magic by 10%. Nothing crazy, but if you want to do some free-to-play build or stuff like that, these things are actually really, really interesting. Uh, you'll be able to find golden bombs and light elemental which will increase the bonus of the crystal that you will get So demon killer is gonna be good and spirit slayer is effective against the light element. So this is the banner. We're gonna get so uh, Number one we're gonna get livid Shantoto, which is a crazy looking Shantoto. She's gonna be really really crazy uh, She's looking really really good by the way and uh, Kupipi which uh, we haven't seen in a long time uh, these guys, there you go, right here you're going to be able to pull for Joachim, which is a 4 star going into a 6 star, Live Enchantoto is a 5 star going to 7 star, and Shadow Lord is a 5 star going to 7 star, Kupipi, well she's a 3 star going to 5 star, but we're going to talk about her awakening in uh, a couple of seconds, uh, so these two are the 5 star going to 7 star, we don't, I, like, we need to see the data mine first on the character and see all the abilities but obviously guys uh cgio is coming really really soon uh technically might be next week if we look at the schedule that they had in japan uh it's gonna be the week after livid chantoto uh but we're still waiting for that big dragon quest collab and i don't know if the dragon quest collab is gonna come before cgio or cgio before the collab so Guys, keep those tickets, keep that lapis, don't go crazy. I know you guys want that 5-star uh, uh, star ticket summon where you uh, you can choose the unit that you want. Unit of choice ticket, damn it. Uh, you, I know you guys want those uh, parts of tickets, but uh, be patient. Keep farming that event. Uh, if you need to use lapis to refresh, go for it. But I would tell you guys to basically hold on those tickets and hold on into that lapis as much as possible. If you guys do want that you, those units and you're a big whale, go for it. But other than that, hold on because CGIO is coming really, really soon. Let's go on the next one. In the notices, so Ability Awakening, Dash, Aura, Gloka, Crow, Aria, Aria. Ayaka, Onion Knight, and Nyx are going to get some Ability Awakening. We're not going to talk about them right now, but I'm really excited for Ayaka. Uh, if you guys have her, you guys know how good she is. Onion Knight, amazing chainer, and Nyx, good finisher. Uh, he's been on the low side. You don't see him as much, but hopefully they're going to be able to awaken his ability to make him a little bit better. Uh, Arya and Aura, actually really good characters if you like using free-to-play units uh, or four-star units. They're actually really good in what they do. She can chain really well with herself and Arya is a really good healer. Uh, other than that, I'm excited. I want to see what these guys have to offer. Uh, for sure, Ayaka, if she's good enough, I'm going to awaken her abilities. And Nyx, we'll see. Onion Knight, I'm still waiting for my first Onion Knight. Uh, let's go to the new one new units to awaken so kupipi will finally be awakening to a six stars whatever uh they had to make a unit we haven't seen a three star go into six star in a long time so basically this one will get her six star version after maintenance on thursday so let's see how many people basically awaken her to her six star then the story continues i'm not going to go down guys uh 
I don't want to spoil anything if you guys haven't played the story yet and you're not there. So, Season 2, Second Caesar, Chapter 4, Part 2 will be available after maintenance on Thursday. So, if you guys want to keep playing the story, go for it. Like I said, the story is amazing. So, play as much as you can because it's really, really good and it's just getting better and better. Then, if you made it to Chapter 3, Part 3 in the second season, you'll be allowed to get a 50% Moogle. So that 50% Moogle will be dropped, so let's say here, as announced on the second anniversary Final Fantasy Brave Exvius new post news posted on uh, June 28th, players who cleared the story second season up to Chapter 3, Part 3 by Saturday, uh, is that July? No, September 1st at midnight will be awarded a 50% Trust Moogle to all. So guys, if you're still behind in the story, go hard on it, make it to here, and you'll get a 50% Moogle. And you guys can use that 50% Moogle on CGIO to unlock his Trust Master. So think about that, think about this one. Then, here are more details about the 5 star 7 ticket, uh, unit of choice ticket actually. Uh, so limited time units are not included in the pool. So all the characters from uh, near event or explore Eileen all these guys they are not in that pool five star units that can be awakened to seven star will be added progressively permanent units that can be awakened to a seven star will be added to the pool following the end of their featured summon period so let's say everybody's thinking the same thing as me wait till uh, CGIO comes out we're gonna use that unit of choice ticket on him uh, basically we'll probably have to wait two weeks so after his banner goes out, two weeks after that, uh, well, the week following his banner when it's out and it's not there anymore as a featured summon, uh, he's going to be added to that pool. So you guys will probably have to add, uh, wait an extra two weeks before getting a second copy. Or if you're lucky, you're going to be able to pull two versions of him. Because in Japan, he was alone in his banner and hopefully they're going to do the same thing here on Global and he's going to be the only five star going into seven star. Uh, you can exchange 10 5 star select 7 for, okay, that we knew. So we're good, we're good with that. Uh, then we have one more, Player Voice Campaign Part 2. Monday, uh, September 3rd to Monday, Mon Monday, to Monday, October 1st. Uh, you will be able to do a free 10 plus 1 summon every week for a total of 4 times. Uh, if you guys didn't know, basically whenever you do a free 10 plus 1 or a 10 plus 1 ticket, Chance of you getting a rainbow as the first uh, crystal is a 5% and after that all the other 10 crystals you're getting is basically a 3% chance. So basically, uh, really really cool since we're not getting a free summon every day but I still like that free 10 plus 1 because it increases a little bit of your chance getting that 10% and maybe a second rainbow in that 10 plus 1. So that's really cool and uh, that's gonna happen on uh, Monday, September 3rd. So next week, we will get our, our free 10 plus 1 summon weekly. So that makes the news. Guys, uh, I hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys, uh, this video was uh, good enough for you guys. Uh, news were useful, because news are made for that. And uh, yeah, can't wait for uh, CGIO. Even though Live in Shantoto is coming, uh, I'm gonna try to farm as much as possible. I want those tickets. I want all of these tickets and I was I want as much lapis as possible because hopefully next week in game is gonna be announced that CGIO is coming out. Guys, like I said previously, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe for more content and leave a like down below to help me out with those videos. On that one guys, have a nice day.